Hi, I'm Andy Glass with Glass Impressions. Today we have a quick little project. We're going to use our CNC Shark HD3 with extended bed by Next Wave Automation, available at rockler.com, to make this acrylic open sign with special built in LEDs. Stick around, hope you enjoy. I start out by designing the sign in VCAR Pro. I use the default text and utilize a pocketing toolpath to clear out the letters and use a profile cut to cut the sign to size. Next I hold a 12 inch by 12 inch sheet of blue acrylic with three aluminum hold downs. I jog the spindle in the center of the workpiece and zero out the X and Y axis. I then use the sharp touch plate to zero out the Z axis. Now let's sit back and let the CNC make a perfect sign. I utilize a ramp on all my plunges. This helps with the quality of cut and also extends the life of your bit. Here you can see the slow ramping plunge. As you can see I used tabs to keep the sign in place as it was being cut. Now let's do a little woodworking and make a base. I could have made it with the CNC but here's a little solution for you old school woodworkers out there. At the router table, I use a 1 quarter inch down cutting bit and make a stop groove to hold the sign in place. I slowly plunge the workpiece gently going back and forth until I reach the table. I slide the workpiece left to right and stop when the indication marks on both the table and the workpiece meet. Here you can see the sign fits perfectly into the groove. I make a similar groove for the LED light strip. The LED light strip was purchased online for a very affordable price. It comes with an infrared remote that can change the color of the lights to a variety of colors. I place the strip into the groove and then cut it with a standard scissors. There are specific places marked on where it can be cut. The LED strip comes with an adhesive backing. The connection is fed through a small hole and super glued into a channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little CNC project. This open sign is perfect for anyone on the go. Now you don't have to carve open in it. It could be a saying, a logo, or a picture. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash the like button, share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. If you'd like to know more information on Glass Impressions, I encourage you to visit my website, andyglassimpressions.com, or search me on YouTube, Glass Impressions, as I frequently release woodworking and CNC content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.